when I talked with officials at the lower level, I was told my chances of getting permission from the American Basketball Association to produce a documentary was just not going to happen. At each level, uh, I was warned that the ABA would not give permission. And I decided the best thing for me to do would just go ahead and get the footage, go up to each of the games that were being held in Portland, get the footage of the games, and then keep trying to get the permission. At least I would have the film. And eventually, uh, I did reach the top and was put on hold for about two months. Uh, and I kept filming, but I also kept calling uh, to remind uh, them down in San Francisco that they were all free. They said they would give me an answer, and I kept saying that that answer should be yes. And eventually it was a yes. I was determined to do this. Uh, this was just in those early days of when women's sports was uh, really coming into um, be taken somewhat seriously. I, I got all the film uh, and interviewed some of the players and the film's been on my shelf for several years. It's like I didn't seem to either have the initiative to get to it and in that time the ABA broke apart and is no longer in existence. Um, at this point, have said it's time now to get this going. Women's basketball, collegiate and professional, has electrified women of America to the possibilities. The possibilities that things might be different, after all, for their daughters.